I am Cat Woods and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review over the new longly awaited RSV Quintel from Skylar. So I'm just not going to sit here and talk anymore. We're just going to hop on in and see what this beauty is. So we have lovely foam peanuts. Oh, we love the foam peanuts. My kitties love the foam peanuts. And they're all asleep right now. Except for Desari, who is, you know it, on my lap. So this has been released of April of this year. And we're in September and it just now um, came out. So you're going to see all kinds of posts, more reviews coming out. So super excited about that. Go ahead and get this box out of the way. Get into the bubble wrap. This is Logan's favorite part, or this bubble wraps. He will, oops, sorry, he will carry the bubble wrap with him all throughout the house trying to pop these bubbles. So, ah, uh, look at the new little Thank you. No, look at that. She did a little kitty. Melissa, you are a sweetheart. I love that. That is the cutest little touch. I actually may cut this out and put it in that Bible because that that just made me smile. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What an amazing. Their whole team, the whole Skylar team is just wonderful. I love them to pieces. All right. So as we see here, get in nice and close oh yeah and this is with the apocrypha in it so you have your choice I went online to see how many um, options you have you have your choice to get this Bible it's only in the RSV translation but you can get it with or without the apocrypha so if you don't want the apocrypha you still can get this Bible but I like the apocrypha so we're gonna hop on in And there's also your choice of um, full yap or not full yap. This is the full yap. I love full yap Bibles. And it is in the black goat, goat skin. They did have my favorite marble mahogany, but it wasn't in the full yap. So because I already have my Traveras in a full yap, I figured go ahead and get the goat skin. I don't have a goat skin in the full yap. So that way we could do a little comparison. So make sure you watch the full video so you can catch that. All right. So just looking at it, you know I'm going to take you off the tripod for this. I can't tease you. I mean, I could do the whole video just like that, give you a overview of it. It is a big boy. It's not a smaller Bible. We have two, four, six raised hubs here. We have the art gilt red under gold. The yap does touch, so it is a full yap, and it is a black and red com combo. <gasps> Love this combination, you all. So, so, so beautiful. It is, it is a good size. I mean, it is bigger than what I expected. I didn't expect something like this big, but... So, yeah, I, I'm excited to see. When you first get the Bible, that's what the yap looks like. It doesn't really, it's not trained or anything. It's untrained, so it's just, it's just flopped there. This goat skin is floppier and lighter than the normal goat skin. So, I have, I have noticed that. It's not as thick, you know, goat skin. And, another thing, looking at it, the, the spine it's it's rounded it kind of has almost like an allen feel to the spine it's not really a like a box again I'll show I'll show more all right let's just hop on in we have of course stitching around the perimeter of the Bible we have tooling also very 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 beautiful the grain work is extremely beautiful also. 
has this very beautiful pebbly looking. Let's check out the back. All right. Of course, it is my sewn, all the good stuff, edge line. We have the presentation page. Marriages, deaths, all the good stuff here. We have a title page. Here's the copyright page. It's printed and founded by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. Okay. Now their setup for this Bible will be the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Apocrypha will be in the back. Normally, when they add the Apocrypha in, they will have the Apocrypha in between the Old and the New Testament. They're keeping the Old and New Testament together. So that's, that's pretty cool. If you're new to the RSB translation, make sure you read over this. very helpful information explaining more about the translation that's with any Bible I always encourage if you're new to a translation or a bit curious about a translation and you want to know more about it make sure you read over the front of it this will be in alphabetic order okay we're gonna hop into the Bible the paper oh it's so beautiful it's 28 GSM. Two column format. It is in a 10 point font. Now it is the Quintel layout, but they also added something new. Normally, the Canterbury's are the only ones that have these beautiful drop caps. But they added drop caps to their Quintel. This is the first Quintel. It's a very readable 10 point font. I like this font. You get your footnotes over here on the right, and then your references down below. Now, if as you, I don't know if you caught this, but look, scrolling through, you don't see the little numbers or letters for the references. It's a very clean text. The only time you will ever catch like a little number or a letter, typically it's a letter, that would be for the footnote. So that will be an A, so you just come over here at the footnote, and it's right there. So I like how they did that. The text is extremely clean. Very, very, very readable. There will be no um, headers. So there's no kind of headers. But every chapter will have these beautiful little leaves. Beautiful layout, you guys. Just beautiful. And the drop caps will change. They're, they won't be the same. So right here, look at the N, the design here on the N, which is cool because it keeps it fresh. And then look at the W. That's beautiful. Once I wear it out a little bit more, it should lay down, well, it should, it will lay down flat. The edge line is what's keeping it right here. This little spot here is what's keeping it a little, well, this little hump. So once this get wore in and gets stretched out more, it will lay flat. But if you choose to mark in it, there's good gutter space here. There's marking space at the bottom, not for extensive notes, obviously a lot more room on top without those headers. We get the infamous red chapter numbers and verse numbers. I mean, not verse numbers, only up here. 
but not in the text. You don't get no, those are just black. And the chapter numbers are red, the drop caps are red, and then down here when you're looking for your verses and chapters, I like how they keep it red. You're going to fall off my lap, sorry, stop. All right. Obviously, we're going to have beautiful three red ribbons. I always love Skylar's ribbons. They've never, ever, ever disappointed me. All right, let's check back towards the back. All right, here's Revelation. Let's see if I can get... All right, cool. And here's the beginning of the Apocrypha. So, Old and New Testament over here. And then the Apocrypha right here. Quit wiggling around, man. You're making this very hard. You're going to get everyone sick because you want to try to be petted. All right. Oh, we even have a table of contents back here for the Apocrypha. That's pretty cool. So if you're looking for a certain book and you want to find it faster, you don't have to flip through. It shows you the page number. I like that. You don't have to go all the way to the front of the Bible to figure out which book you want to look at. Very, very, very beautiful. I, I'm excited. I am excited to scroll through and read through. This will be obviously my daily driver. I'm going to break this one in. I'm excited to read it cover to cover. The paper, you all, it is 28 GSM, like I mentioned, 10.5, font. it is so readable. It is on. It is a bigger size than like a normal size um, Bible. All right, so we get towards the back here, and we do have a three-column concordance. Oh, keep trying to get to the P. I don't want so many. I'm trying to flip through the beginning. It's just not happening for me here. There it is. Oh, that is the beginning? No, I knew it wasn't. It's like, there's no way. Here it is. Okay. And then at the letters they have these little leaves still continuing back here. So that's that's pretty cool. They got the word that you're looking for in the red. It's a good size concordance. Because that's what's left besides the maps. The maps are on regular Bible paper. There's not cardstock. The print. Oh, we also got an index over here. So we got 12 maps. Very beautifully printed. The colors are beautiful. It would have been cool to see some line paper back here, but I mean it probably would have made, there's an index to the maps, it would have made it a little bit thicker. So you just get a couple of cardstock paper and that's it. I love this bright red liner you all. This black and red combination is my favorite. So let me quickly compare, because I did mention this was a big boy, sorry about this. I said this was a big boy. But it's not as big as their wide margin. They're, if you own one of their wide margins, you all, let me make sure you're pushed back. That is a big boy. Not only is it um, long and wide, but it's also, it's really, really thick too. So we'll put the newer one on top. And this is with a yap. So this right here is technically, that right there is a text block. So it's big, but it is not as big as the wide margin. 
and it's not as thick as the wide margin. So if you find your wide margin as unruly to really carry around and take it with you, um, you're afraid of this side, this one being the same size and width and all. It's not. It's smaller than the wide margin. So if you have a wide margin, um, the Treveris is a, not the normal size either. It's kind of a different size, but I did want to compare the the yap. This is will will be what a trained yap will look like, and like the non-trained yap. So let me get it on closer. I forgot I was going to show you that one. So you see how it just sticks up? It's not laying down. This is the calf skin. And it was super, super easy to train. I just trained this with my hands. I did not train this with um, like saran wrap like I did in my other video. So I'm going to see if I can train the goat skin the same way. But I'm excited to see what the goat skin looks like. Trained like the calf skin. right now it is not trained but there's yeah here's also the size comparison if you're interested in the size comparison it's, it's not a big big huge Bible but it is a bigger a bigger a bigger size Bible but I'm super curious I'm glad that I have a calf skin with the yap this right here is what is called the yap is the extra leather that hangs over the side of your Bible the edge of your Bible and it's it's for protection it really is for protection but it's also for just the looks some people like it some people don't this is my mini one it's, I have another red and this is my first red and black combo I will be doing a review over this I've had the PSQ for three years now So, okay, if you do have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments below. I love communicating with you all. As always, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.